Hello everyone, my silly and Poppy here, and we are exploring this beautiful fall scene. And we have found an interesting mushroom that I'm about to show you in a second. When I find these mushrooms, I like to check the tree uh, species, because of course, as you guys know, uh, the mushrooms, uh, many mushrooms form mycorrhizal associations with certain types of trees. So here we have what appears to be some leafless, I don't know if they're dead or if they, they've just dropped their leaves, uh, beech and ash trees and maybe some cherry trees as well. So we're gonna get close here and I'm gonna show you guys what I found. And this is, as you guys know, if you've been paying attention to my channel, this is a, what appears to be a bluet. And we have it right there. So, very interesting looking mushroom. It's got that white surrounded by that pink color. And yeah, these tend to pop up in the fall in Northeast forests. And so we're just going to pick it, examine it. Supposedly they're supposed to smell like orange juice uh, or concentrated orange juice. I don't get that but I'm pretty sure of my identification here. We're gonna take it out and we're going to uh, put some potassium hydroxide on it and see what happens. When I did that last time, it didn't stain, but it did seem as though the potassium hydroxide degraded the mushroom cap. And so let's pick it and explore it some more. Okay, and now we have the bluet, and we're going to show you certain features of all mushrooms and some of the bluet. First, you wanna see these really, really beautiful pink gills. If you look at that, that beautiful pink color. And then, I want you to look here. We have what looks to be like several aborted pins. And what happens is when the mycelium is growing and when it starts to, you know, get access to oxygen and all of that, um, it starts to, you know, decide, hey, we're going we're gonna to produce some fruiting bodies. And it appears, obviously, that this one that I'm holding, the big one, is the major fruiting body that was able to successfully grow. But for whatever reason, these guys here, here, there, they were aborted and they weren't able to fully grow. And because of that, you have these incomplete pins. So very interesting. Okay guys, we have the bluet now and we are going to do several tests. First, we're gonna put some potassium hydroxide on the bottom and on the cap. And when I did this last, it almost liquefied the gills, we'll watch. All right, we're gonna let that sink in for a little bit. In the meantime, we're gonna cut off the cap or the uh, bottom of the stipe, I'm sorry. See if we can see anything on the interior. And we seem to have a lilac purple interior. Here are the pins. Again, I just wanna point those out to you. We're gonna split this in half. And as you can see already, you're starting to see this liquefaction process. There's no color change, but it seems to melt the gills. So that's interesting. It turns it into almost a gelatinous substance. I'm gonna cut the stipe in half. I'm gonna give you guys a view of that. This is the inside of the stipe. Okay, so as you can see, I guess, I don't know if you guys would call that a brown, a brown uh, color change maybe. I think that it just looks, appears to be more wet and has turned into a gelatinous type of substance. Now we're gonna go to the cap. All right. Again, we're going to pour some potassium hydroxide on it. I want to get on the purplish lilac part and on the white part. Okay. Maybe one here as well. And again, it's very hard to tell. It seems as though it is basically just changing color. What's interesting is that it is starting to deform. You see a concave shape forming right here. On the edge, or the lilac part, the purple part, 
that doesn't really seem to be happening. So on the white portion of the, of the cap, we see some kind of, of a deformation happening. It's kind of hard to see, um, but yes, it is definitely starting to sink in. That's very interesting. So maybe this is an identifying characteristic of this mushroom. Maybe not, I don't know. Let's cut open the cap and see the internal gill structure. And as you can see, the bottom portion of the gills retain that purplish color, that purplish gray lilac color. The inside is a creamy, fibrous white. Let's put some potassium hydroxide on that as well. And again, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's starting to decay or degrade the inner material of the mushroom cap. I find that very interesting. I don't know why that's happening. I don't know the chemical composition of this mushroom, but it is something that potentially is, like I said, an identifying characteristic. So there you have it, folks. The Bluet mushroom. Very cool.